If you have — if you have a statement made in the style of rap music, as this one or several of these were, is the reasonable person supposed to be someone familiar with that style and the use of what might be viewed as threatening words in connection with that music, or is — or not? So, Mr. Chief Justice, it depends on whom the speaker is speaking to. If the person is speaking to, to a general a general, general audience. audience, then I think that, that the individual has to understand that not everybody will have the same private meanings that that person attaches to rap music and will bring to the So table. that does subject the prosecution, the lyrics that a lot of rap artists use? No, not at all, Mr. Chief Justice, because in the context of those statements, it's pretty clear that the purpose of the communication is entertainment. People seek out rap artists because they are seeking some form of entertainment, and that is a So well- how do you start out if you want to be a rap artist? Your first communication, you can't say, I'm an artist, right? I, I think that you have perfect freedom to engage in rap artistry. What you don't have perfect freedom to do is to make statements that are uh, uh, like the ones in this case, where after the individual receives a protection from abuse order from a court, which was based on Facebook posts that his wife took as threatening, he comes out with a post and says, fold up that PFA and put it in your pocket. Will it stop a bullet? He knows that his wife is reading these posts. He knows that his posts, despite the fact that they're in the guise of rap music, have instilled fear in her. And he goes out and he ramps up and escalates the threatening character of the statements. Here what you're talking about are criminal threats, statements that taking away any private meanings that the individual attached to them would leave observers of the view, hey, this guy intends to carry out an act of violence against somebody. That is not something that has First Amendment value. There are plenty of ways to express yourself without doing it in a way that will lead people to think, this guy is about to hurt somebody. What about the the language at pages 54 to 55 of the petitioner's brief? Uh, You know, Dad, I make a nice med for, bed for mommy at the bottom of the lake, tie a rope around a rock. This is during the context of a domestic dispute uh, uh, between uh, you know, a husband and wife. There goes mama splashing in the water, no more fighting with dad, you know, uh, all that stuff. Now, so, under your test, could that be prosecuted? No, because if you look at the context of these statements. Because is, Eminem said it instead of somebody else? Because Eminem said it at a concert where people are going to be entertained. This is a critical part of the context. It wasn't as if he stated it to her in private or on a Facebook page after having received a protection from abuse order. It wasn't as if he appropriated a style of rap that wasn't anything that he had been doing previously in the marriage and all of a sudden tried to express violent statements that way. In the context, I think any reasonable person would conclude at a minimum that there is ambiguity about these statements being a serious intention of uh, an expression to do harm. And this is critical here. We're talking about an area in which if the jury finds that it's ambiguous, it has to acquit. It has to conclude that this is how these statements should be interpreted. Well, yes, but you're dealing with some very inflammatory language. And the question is whether or not the jury is going to be swept away with the language as opposed to making the subtle determinations you've been talking about. Well, there are two protections there. One is that the the government has to prove its case beyond a reasonable doubt, and that is subject to appellate review. And the second protection is that it needs to be a true threat. As expressed in the Watts case, whether it's a good term or a bad term, it means that these statements are to be taken seriously, that they're not in jest, they're not exaggeration, they're not hyperbole, they're not artistic expression. And this is not a standard that's led to any problems.